Hi, uh, this is a video from interview.com team. I'll be explaining uh, what is Java ex exception. Okay, this is one of the question in our top 20 Java interview questions. So I'll be explaining what is Java ex exception. It's a very big topic. So in, to in today's video, I'll be presenting the basic things that you should know before you attend any core Java interview question, any core Java interview. Okay, um, okay, what is an exception? Exceptions are or such an LMS condition which changes the normal flow of execution of a program. Exceptions are used for signaling erroneous conditions which occur during the runtime processing. Okay, this is the definition. So in your normal flow, um, in your normal flow, uh, in your code, if there is any problem happens, say for example, you are trying to, to create a DB connection and the database properties file does not have the entry or the database property file itself is not there so there is an exception happens in uh, while creating the connection so how do we resolve this problem so do we need to do you want to uh, shut down the jvm immediately or you want to recover from this exception and proceed and you don't want to you don't want to stop the jvm so these these this kind of error in a scenario is called as exception. So you exp your code expects a file to be present in the hard disk. The file is not in the not present in the hard disk. So there is an exception. How do you recover? So in this scenario, these type of scenarios you should handle. Okay, I have given a method here. Get DB connection throws DB file not found exception. That means I have a method okay i have a method and it tries to create a connection it tries to it tries to create a connection and while creating a connection the db properties file is not present so i'm throwing an exception okay so why why i presented this method signature because there are two types of exception checked exception and unchecked exception checked exceptions are like i have a method and the method signature says that i'm going to throw an exception whoever is going to call those that method has to handle it it is come if you are not handling it compiler will throw an error you cannot build your code so this is compile time checked exception let's see the definition for unchecked uh, checked exceptions these are the exceptions which occur during the compile time of the program so i am calling a method and that method signature says that i'm going to throw an exception so the callee the caller the method caller should handle it if i if the if i get this exception what should happen in the next video in the coming videos i'll be uh, upcoming videos i'll be giving more examples because it's a very big topic I'm, in this video i just want to give the basics what is an exception what is checked exception unchecked exception okay so the compiler checks at the compile time that whether the program contains handlers for check, checked exceptions or not so the caller so whoever is going to use this method has to handle this type of exception. This is check exception. If it is not handling, compile it throw an error. These exceptions do not extend runtime exception class and must be handled. Very important is must be handled to avoid a compile time error by the programmer. It should be handled by the programmer. These exceptions extend java.lang.exception class. These exceptional conditions should be anticipated and recovered by an application. For example, I'll show you uh, okay see this is the hierarchy over is uh, the java developer should know this hierarchy by heart because without this without questions from this hierarchy there won't the the interviewer won't finish the interview so you should know this so above throwable we'll have object okay it extends from the object exception error so apart from runtime exception all are checked exceptions Exception. Okay, so IO exception. Um, IO exception is like file file not found exception. So you expect uh, you are reading from a file and file is not file is not present in the hard disk. So what should I do? How do I recover? So those type of exceptions are handled by uh, uh, should extend um, the file not found ex exception extends from the IO exception. Okay, 
so we talked about checked exception checked exceptions very important is it is a compile time when you say i'm going to throw an exception the caller should handle it this is only uh, difference okay so unchecked exception these exceptions which occur during the uh, runtime of the program like runtime exception null pointer exception you can see in this runtime exception the examples for runtime exceptions are array index bound of exception you are not sure what is the array index what is the last minimum size and you have declared three and you are trying to access fourth fourth index and it will throw an exception you are not sure it will happen in the runtime run point, null point exception you are not sure what the user is going to give the user is going to give the input arithmetic exception input match mismatch exception and class cause exception okay these are null point uh, these are runtime exceptions the compiler does not checks at the compile time that whether the program contains handlers for unchecked exceptions or not for example can if i even if i throw the runtime exception from my program from my code the caller does not have to handle it because it will be uh, it, it doesn't need to handle because it not uh, checked at the compile time that's why it is called unchecked exceptions so runtime exception you can catch you can throw whatever it is but compiler does not going to bother about that okay these exception these unchecked exceptions extend runtime ex runtime exception class and do not need to be handled by the programmer very important is we don't need to handle these type of exception still i can throw okay here in this uh, presentation I, in this video i was um, planning to give only the basics of what is an exception okay then what are the two types of exception and in future videos i'll be talk i'll be answering questions like can i catch a runtime exception can i catch a error why should you throw an exception early explain exception hierarchy when should i use checked exception unchecked ex exception explain catch block finally block and its purposes so there are a lot of questions within exception topic java exception topic so i'm going to cover all this since it's a big topic i'm going to split these videos into uh, small videos so you can expect uh, these um, answers for these questions in future videos hope this was useful and once again i want to uh, explain this hierarchy throwable exception extends throwable and error error like out of memory error still you can catch error and handle it if you want to handle you can handle it otherwise jvm will uh, it will reach the till the jvm level so this hierarchy you should know hope you understood the java ex uh, exception briefly to tell in your you are writing a code in a normal flow is interrupted by a by an uh, abnormal operation like file not found sql exception you are you are making a query to the database and it fails because of some reason so exception happens is it possible to recover from that you can handle it in the catch block if it's not possible you can shut down the system so java exception is a very main topic main topic you should know before attending java interview questions interview okay hope this video was useful to you wait for these questions uh, these the answers for these questions that i mentioned here Thank you for watching this video. For more Java interview questions and answers, please visit our website interview.com, India's top interview guide. Thank you and all the best for your interview.